and the tribulation will begin. Once the Lord takes his church, that will be the start of the seven years of tribulation. And what in less than one second, think about this. Millions are gonna be swept off the earth in one second, less than a second, completely disappear. One moment they're gonna be present and the next moment they will be gone forever. Close, fall. All righty then. Isaiah is about to make a very specific point in the next part of this video. So in part two, we are going to spend the entire time discussing only that. Hope you enjoy it. Please like the video if you do. I'm like, when I say gone, I mean, you blink your eye, when you close your eye to blink and you open it, your husband and wife, your husband, your kid, your family, whoever was saved, if you're not saved, by the time you open your eye to blink, they're going to be gone, that's how fast. The Bible says this, Jesus said, two men will be working together in a field, one's gonna be taken, another one's gonna be left. So they're out in the field picking fruit, they grab a strawberry, hey man, how's it going, oh, it's going good. He grabs a strawberry, he turns around, his friend's gone. Yes, Jesus does very clearly state here in Matthew 24, 40, two men will be in the field, one will be taken and one left. What he doesn't then say is now use your imagination to determine who's going to be taken, where they're going to be taken to, and when they're going to be taken. If you remember from the first video in this series, we talked about how Jesus promised that this generation would not pass away before all these things take place. So that tells us when it was going to take place within that generation. But what does Jesus say about these people who will be taken away in the field? Complete gone. The Bible says that two men will be grind two women will be grinding flour in a mill. One will be taken and the other one will be left. Imagine, now I want you to think about this. Imagine what the world will look like when millions of drivers disappear out of their cars. Imagine what the world's gonna be like when airplane pilots disappear out of their cockpit. While I am sure that we're all having a great time imagining what could possibly happen if various people started disappearing off the planet, I think it's time to bring some biblical context into this conversation. Because you see, in just one verse before, verse 39, Jesus says about the people who are taken away, they were unaware until the flood came and swept them all away. So will be the coming of the Son of Man. So these people who are being taken away are the bad people. They're being compared to the people that God destroyed the world on account of with a flood of water. And the ones who weren't taken away during the flood was Noah and his family because they were righteous through faith. So they remained to inhabit the world. But the chaff was taken away and burned. And Jesus himself says in John chapter 17, while praying to the Father, I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. So do you really wanna keep praying for this rapture? What will happen when doctors, nurses, police officers, pol have you all thought about this? Politicians.